NASH, or non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, is a disease characterized by inflammation of the liver, which can ultimately lead to cirrhosis. So to help us understand more about this disease and how a new test will help assess the risk of disease progression in NASH patients is Dr. Zobair Yunasi, Chairman for the Department of Medicine and Professor of Medicine for Innova Fairfax Medical Campus, and Dr. Chuck Cooper, Chief Medical Officer for Siemens Healthcare Diagnostics at Siemens Health and Ears. We're excited to have you both here to talk about this today. It's important, of course. Dr. Yunasi, let's start with you. Can you tell us more about non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, known also as NASH? Yes, of course. Uh, so NASH is, uh, is a uh, type of fatty liver disease that's the uh, uh, most common type that can potentially progress uh, to cirrhosis. Probably uh, about 25% uh, of U.S. population is affected by non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and a smaller proportion with NASH but the numbers are so big that it has already become a uh, major cause of, uh, of uh, uh, liver cancer, liver uh, cirrhosis, and, uh, and, and even liver mortality in the United States and probably the rest of the world. So what are the current challenges in NASH patients then? Well, in general, there are three major challenges. One, the awareness about this disease is actually quite low uh, among patients healthcare providers, and even uh, policymakers. So that's a major challenge because very few patients, maybe less than 5% of patients with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease have been actually diagnosed. Second, treatment for, it, for this in terms of drug treatment, it's really not FDA approved or approved right now. So we're relying on, on, on lifestyle modification with weight loss and exercise to, uh, to address this. The third, is that there's uh, historically there's been only one way to tell which patients are at risk and has a lot of uh, 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 significant amount of scarring of the liver or fibrosis and that was done with the liver biopsy which is invasive now there is a new blood test that is called alpha and you hear about this that can with a simple blood test you can at least have a window to where the patients are going to go so it's a prognostic test to tell us what patients are at high risk so these are the three major challenges that we are currently facing in this field. Okay, Dr. Cooper, can you tell us more about this new test? Sure, so we at Siemens Health and Ears have introduced a new test called the Enhanced Liver Fibrosis Test or ELF test. And this is the first uh, approved non-invasive prognostic blood test. And what this test does is it helps healthcare providers and patients understand what the patient's risk is for progression to severe liver outcomes, like cirrhosis or liver failure or other potentially life-threatening liver events. And so essentially what this test does is it helps healthcare providers understand which patients could benefit most from early preemptive care that could be potentially life-saving. And so this is an important new tool in the fight against this deadly silent killer. And Dr. Cooper, why is it such a game changer then? Because it's non-invasive? Sure, absolutely. And so, you know, as Dr. Inasi said, this is quickly becoming one of the most important public health issues in our in our country. And this is a non-invasive test. It's a simple test. It's just as simple as any other blood test. And as such, it can reach patients wherever they are. So now there's a new tool that's available to uh, healthcare providers and patients that can help them manage the risk and, and hopefully avoid uh, severe outcomes. Okay, well, Dr. Yunasi, what are the key takeaways about these helpful advances for those with NASH? Well, uh, the burden is high and it's increasing because of the, the uh, prevalence of obesity and type 2 diabetes rising in the U.S. and the rest of the world. Uh, we are developing new drugs, but for the first sort of advance, we now have a, a, a test, a sample blood test called ALP test. And, and uh, patients and providers can actually get a lot more information if they go to Siemens dash healthlinerus slash alf. You get a lot more information about this disease and also about the test that's available. That's an advance and, and we're hoping that we can, we can build on that. Wonderful. Well, thank you both so much for bringing this to light and spreading the awareness. Uh, it was nice to meet both of you. And if you'd like to see this segment again or get for more information, of course, you can head to our website, firstcoastliving.net.